Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. What do you do if you're married and you don't super love kissing? All right, this feels like a weird episode to film, but I wanted to film it because I Googled it the other day. I Googled what to, how to like kissing if you don't like kissing, something like that. So let me give you some backstory. One, I've always told myself I've never really been a hugger and I don't like getting massages. It hurts my skin. I'll do it if I have something wrong with my body and I really need it to be kind of repaired, but I certainly don't enjoy getting massage. Um, and I, I didn't, I don't enjoy showers and for the longest time I didn't know why. Um, but I was recently explaining all of these things to an ADHD expert and she was like, Oh, you might just have some sensory processing things. And I was like, what? I thought sensory processing was like when your socks were too tight or you couldn't stand materials or, or if you had a tag in your shirt, it, it drove you nuts. Like, I guess I just thought about it like that. And she said, well, think about it. She said, massages and shower creating pressure on your body and having someone clean your hair. I really don't like it when they massage my hair at the salon. So I always tell them, please just wash it, but you don't need to, you don't need to massage it. And then hugs and hugging and cuddling and really kissing all kind of fall within that people really close into your space, touching your skin. And so it was kind of eye opening for me to think that I might have some sensory, let's just say I'm sensitive to sensory things. And so it really got me thinking about kissing and I like kissing sometimes. I mean, I think when I was a teenager and there were hormones or when you're first dating someone and you have that rush, I, you know, I remember kissing lots of people, but in general, even after I first began dating someone that would fade the idea of having someone close to my face, breathing on my face, having a wet thing on my face, like not my favorite. And I think I was probably embarrassed and ashamed of that a little bit. Um, and this is not to say that I don't kiss my husband. I kiss him a lot. It's just not my favorite thing to do. And I think he could kind of tell. And so it was very interesting for both of us to go, oh, I just wonder if you have some sensory things there, which for me, and you know me, I'm just a researcher. I love science. I love self-improvement. I was like, great. If I can find something I understand, then I usually have a lot of hope that I can work on that. And so kissing was one of those where I thought, oh, great. If it's just a sensory processing thing, I can desensitize myself to that. So because of my background as a dog trainer, I know that you can desensitize yourself to almost anything. And that doesn't mean we should, but we could if we wanted to. And so even just being armed with this information made me feel so much better. And it also helped me drop the shame piece. And anytime we drop shame, it makes our experience of things better. So in, in, if my husband leans in to kiss me and inside I feel resistance, now I can just go, well, yeah, honey, we just don't love being touched so much. I don't think, what's wrong with you? Why don't you like kissing? You're never going to be happy. He feels rejected, right? Like if you can drop all the stories and just explain it, um, the kissing might even feel the same or it might even feel better. Just even having context around a little bit of that resistance. And then to desensitize yourself to something, you can begin taking baby steps or working up to it. Or you can talk to your husband and say, I like kissing you, but not when you heavy breathe on my face. Or I, I like small kisses or... And for me, right, like I actually do like French kissing, but like one glass of wine in or when we're being intimate, like if I'm really into that, that kind of opens that up. There's probably part of my brain that shuts off like a thinking concern part and allows me to, to step into that and enjoy that. And then also just communicating all of that to my husband and saying, I love you so much. This isn't about you. This isn't like I'm not attracted to you. Let's work on it. Let's figure out a way that we can kiss more or I can be desensitized or we can do it slightly differently. And so I wasn't going to record this episode. I wasn't maybe going to share all of that, but 
I don't know. God just put it on my heart. And I just thought, you know what? I wonder if there are other wives, Catholic wives, that might have small sensory things and don't super love kissing. They're doing it. It's not their favorite thing. And they feel bad about it. Or their husbands feel bad. That you could learn more about that. You could learn more about how to enjoy kissing more. Particularly from a resource that understands having sensory issues. And there might be other things in your life that are like that too. I never connected that I don't really love showers with that I don't love massages. I never connected that. But then when she said it to me, it made a ton of sense. I was like, yeah, I don't like a lot of pressure on my skin, which is also a redhead thing, by the way. But let's just be women who are curious, open, willing to learn, willing to check our ego at the door. I want to have a great marriage, right? I'm on this journey this year to significantly improve my marriage. And I want like a feisty, sexy marriage. And so I'm working on, okay, how do I have a feisty, sexy marriage when I have some of these like sensory kissing things? I'm not just resigned. I feel hope. I feel like now I have something to sink my teeth into and to work on. So I just want to invite you to think about things in your life that way. What could you open your mind up to? What could you learn more information about? Might surprise you. Might be really freeing. Might help you to enjoy your life more than you do. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madefor greatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.